Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. This time we've got an LFM race for you guys and I actually went back to the big sexy bad boy Bentley. Haven't driven this car in a minute. Um, and to be honest, man, it used to be one of my favorite cars around Silverstone. It just doesn't have the same speed or the same sort of feel through some of the corners that it used to have, but it still felt pretty decent. I do like to drive the Bentley. I know a lot of people don't like the right hand side car, but I do like it. I'm British. It's normal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is normal. But this race was a bit of a frustrating one, man. Um, I felt like I had the speed. I definitely got to change and try the Aston because I can tell the Aston is absolutely a monster around this track. And um, you'll see again in this race, man. I managed to qualify like eighth. It wasn't too bad of a quality, but so many Astons in front of me. BMWs. I think it was one Audi and maybe a Porsche. But um, other than that, man, we were good to go. End up getting a pretty decent start. The Aston always bad off of the line, which is pretty much its only weakness, I would say. Um, but yes, we managed to hold position and literally we're in the battle. And the t track temperature was about 33, was it about 30? I think it was like 33 track and like 28 air. So it was pretty warm. And I, I knew that this would benefit the Bentley because the Bentley tends not to really wear the tyres the hotter the race is compared to the other cars so um i knew i had a decent chance and all i had to do was just sort of keep up with the pack and then i would be able to sort of attack because of how you know how much other people's tires are wearing but i was a little bit cautious going to the first few corners we just touch door bang with that car a little bit and we lose a position and we we might get done by the porsche here as well is it a put no it's, a, it's an aston on our inside but we managed to hold it and back down into eighth position i think i actually made it one position um at the start i got up to seventh and now we've dropped back down to to eighth and trust me it's going to be definitely very hard to get past the Aston because what i've noticed is with the bentley now it just does not have any straight line speed and i'm running max downforce around silverstone so i really want to be fast through the corners and be able to throw it into into maggots and beckets and stuff like that how i used to run the car pretty much um, back in the day but it just doesn't seem to have the same amount of corner grip that it once did and I'm not too sure I might have to go back and compare what the straight line speeds are now compared to what they used to be um, but the Bentley just feel it felt just a little bit a little bit lethargic and slow um, and I just it was very hard to keep right in the wheel tracks of the Aston especially right at the beginning because um, you know, everyone's tires were fresh. You can see that the guys ahead, they were just getting off straight away. Um, wasn't the cleanest of first laps. We did have a little bit of contact. I don't think it did too much damage. Maybe a second or two. But um, we were still sort of on the case, attacking the guys in front. But also you can see right behind us having to defend from the Aston as well. So many Astons in this race. It was pretty insane. Loads of Astons, man. And pretty much when I signed up for LFM, um there's just been aston after aston after aston so I'm, i've definitely got to try it man i've got to try it because it does seem like it is the car to be in um around silverstone at the moment but um as i said never really the one to uh follow the crowd so i like to do my own thing wanted to see how the bentley felt around here i actually did make it also made a lambo setup as well go check that out on set base if you haven't checked already um managed to get the lambo into like a was it like a 57 7 or something i think 57 8 i can't remember it was a 57 something but i was surprised i thought mm, if i can do that with the lambo i've never been able to get the lambo really into the 57s before because it's always always felt like a struggle so i thought i'll definitely be quicker with the bentley so i got in the bentley and honestly i just about getting the same times to be honest man um can't really do much more with the bentley i don't know why definitely used to be my go-to car around this track it's definitely been touched in bop i would think um maybe made slightly heavier it definitely feels pretty weighty uh but nevertheless i still enjoy driving the car and we're just trying to stay with the guys in front um as per usual at the start of the race i think i i, I definitely think i start races poorly i think the start of the race getting up to speed instantly is probably my weakness and after that i think i'm okay man but um we, we we did lose a position on that first lap unfortunately we was a little bit cautious i'm just trying to have a good race without having damage man because in lfm you get damage in a race and it's just it's just jarring bro i hate driving around with damage i really do 
literally, if I get damage, I would rather pit and be at the back and be able to do the lap times that I want than just be driving around two seconds lap off the pace. But you can see how much we lost through Magus and Beggars there. They've actually been able to carry insane speed and uh, direction change. So, you know, that is the sort of thing that used to, you know, make me pick the Bentley was how fast you could get through the corners in Magus and Beckett's the direction change while still having the, the mid corner grip. I'm definitely going to have to see what is up to that Aston tomorrow when I have a go. Um, I might, I might, I might just upload another race in the Aston and see how it compares to the Bentley because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's, it's substantially quicker. Not, not, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to put my, my house on it, but I'd probably say I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be in the low 57th of the Aston man because a couple of times in the Bentley I could have dropped like a 57.6 which I feel would have been pretty decent and I feel like from racing the Aston today I definitely feel like there's a straight line speed difference um, and there's definitely a difference through Maggots and Beckett's I could not match them through that section man could not match them but with the race being so hot it was bringing the Bentley into play everyone knows the Bentley is very very good when it comes to warm weather conditions it doesn't really wear the tires as much so i was bearing that in mind and all i had to do realistically was stay close everyone who qualified around me the times were pretty close anyway so i knew i could keep up um it was just a question of whether i would fall back because every time that aston was behind me he was gaining so much on the straight i was like what the hell like if you if you watch my whip my my rear view mirror at the moment um I think I'll go through turn one. Watch how much they take out of me on turn in and stuff like that. It's just, it's crazy, you know? And they're, they're able to still hold the grip. So he's able to take a bit out of me there. But through Maggots and Beckett's, it, I think he was almost hitting me at one stage. He was so much quicker through there. And I felt like I took it at a pretty good speed, man. It was, it was, it was insane. Actually having to nail the line completely. They definitely had a straight line speed advantage as well. Um, but... We're just holding our own at the moment. We're fast enough not to have to defend into corners all the time. But we're still having to keep an eye on our mirrors because you never know if you get any crazies that are going to throw dive bomb from literally 10 yards back. So um, always got to keep on your toes around Silverstone. On ACC, a lot of people that jump on ACC and maybe get into crashes a lot or get binned a lot have to realize that you sort of have to protect yourself at all times, man. You don't. Don't leave the inside open. Even if someone seems to be pretty far back, you never leave the inside open. You always got to cover up. Make sure you're defending. Um, or else, you know, you, you will get dive bombed. And if you, if you don't see it and you turn in, then the chances are you're going to have a crash, man. So always, always defend, man. Don't don't leave the door open because they people will take advantage. It's very, very competitive, man. You know, it, it's not like <laughs> it's not like other games where people... You know, they want a bit of side-by-side -side racing. No, if you leave a gap, people will literally throw the car up the inside. Even if they are sort of two car lengths back, you have to protect yourself all the time, you know? And it's very close racing. The cars, you know, around some tracks, they're very close. So when you have a sniff of an opportunity, you really got to put your nose in, man. You, you got to, literally, you got to be a little bit forceful sometimes. And that's just how it is, man. It's, it's, it's very, very aggressive racing at times. But... It is also extremely fun if you find someone who is willing to give you the respect on track. But we're also doing 58-7, so we're pretty much matching the guys in front. Um, Catano managed to make their overtake on Garbini. Two Astons fighting in front. The BMW, 3.7 seconds down the road. They're absolutely just gone at the moment. Um, but you'll see later on in the race, we do manage to start clawing that gap back. Because, as I said, the Bentley's tyre where it's just fantastic um but here like i couldn't I, even when i got in the slipstream i could do absolutely nothing nothing i know the car in front is also in slipstream as well but you'll see I, I just there was nothing i could do they were just so much quicker down the straight and i'm pretty sure a lot of people in the aston will be running sort of max fuel not max fuel max wing as well so i just think they just have more straight line speed around here um what the bentley was good at though the one corner where i noticed the Bentley seemed to have the, the legs on the Aston was the right hander coming up, which is the first corner for F1. Um, this is where the, the Bentley just seemed a little bit quicker than the Aston. The Aston seemed to maybe not 
carry as much speed through there. I don't know what it was, but through this section here, I was definitely catching these guys. Um, you can see on the brakes, it can get on the brakes pretty, pretty late. The car's very stable. Um, I could have thrown the car at the inside there. I thought about it, but um, I think it would have been a bit late. He probably wouldn't have seen it, and then we would end up with contact. And I'm not trying to have damage. So, um, sort of 10 minutes in the race gone, and we're just really being frustrated. The guys in front are pulling away. Um, and I felt I had the pace to, to do the lap times they were doing. But again, we're stuck behind another Aston, another Aston sandwich, and we can't. I just I can't get anything going in, in the back of these cars, man. I couldn't stay with them on the exit of the corners. With, with the Aston as well, with its superior traction control, they can pretty much just put their foot down, you know. And for me, the Bentley has a lot of torque, so you kind of have to be a little bit careful when you jump in on the accelerator. Um, I, I just couldn't, especially at the tight one, I just couldn't stay tight with him. And that was that was the problem, and I couldn't, you know, set anything up. And I needed to be close through certain corners where I thought I was half decent. But even through here, I got a pretty good run that time, but I not close enough on the straight. Plus, he had a stretch in the car in front. And I did think the guy in front was actually going to pull away once he'd got past, but he's not. So it kind of still, it's kind of still giving me a chance to maybe catch this guy unawares as he's having to look in his mirrors and out in front as well. Um, trying to scare him off the line a little bit, trying to get him to defend into corners that he doesn't need to, see if I can, you know, try and set up an exit. Because for me, I definitely had to stay closer through the tight corners on the on the exit because just look at that. Look at the acceleration. He, I know it was only maybe a tenth or, or, or two, but you can literally see it visually how much they pull away on acceleration. But this is the part of the track where I was just going all out. I was literally just leaving nothing on the table there as wide as possible. As he goes for the overtake, we're going to try and stick it around the outside. He covers us off. We go back, try to get the undercut. But he covers it off as well. And now you'll see, literally, I've got the run. I'm as close as I can get. I'm in the slipstream. And uh, <laughs> it's still proving pretty difficult I'm literally just hoping hoping you know but I just I just wasn't quick enough in a straight line but you can scare people off the line I managed to scare him and then I literally have to cut across him just to get the move done um, I felt like I was quite a bit quicker than that guy but there was literally if he didn't make the mistake I don't know where I would have passed him and now we, we can get back onto Katano which was the guy we were battling with in the first place and um see if we can start catching the guys ahead a car sort of slides sideways so you can see our tires heat up just a little bit and now let's put the aston right on the back of us again and just sort of flying towards us before Max and beckett's but he backs out and we don't have to worry about him through this section and from my point of view i kind of want to get away with it get away from them guys because i don't want to be looking in my mirrors and i don't want to have to do don't want to have to defend against anybody else while i'm trying to catch this guy but at this time, I thought, can I catch him? Does he does he have the pace on me? I'm not too sure because, you know, he had someone in front of him the whole time as well. So this is going to be the first time I was going to see whether I was fast enough to keep up with him or, or not. But um, I felt pretty good. The car the car setup is actually pretty nice, man. I, I did try a few different variations to see if I can take some wing off to see if less wing was the way forward. But honestly, man, I think max downforce around Silverstone is just the way forward. Um, because even if you take wing off you might be a little faster down the straights but you lose it in the braking you lose it with this, a lot of the stability and stuff like that so you don't gain really anything from going too low on the downforce but what I did see is even on um, Katano we were definitely quicker through this latter stage of the lap I think in the early stages of the lap when he doesn't make a mistake we are you know probably a tenth or two down on the Aston but through the middle we're probably kind of the same but as we get towards the end of the lap I think the Bentley picks up momentum through some of the corners but what hurts it again is the exit where I just can't do anything I was trying to keep tight lines just trying to put him off realistically because again it was pretty much down to whether he was going to make a mistake or not um we kind of kind of catching the guys in front you know we're back into the 58s and i felt like my pace was my pace would have been good as the guy in front makes a mistake we step on the throttle 
he probably gets a, a track warning for that we're like a tenth up and this was our chance to try and get close to see what we could do down um the straight but again the aston just watch the way he just pulls what is that that was insane he got a great run through there and i just couldn't do anything <laughs> like literally he just puts his foot down and it was just over with i was like wow i was actually close coming into that section i don't think i did that much wrong maybe i slid the car a little but damn you know so i'm 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 kind of frustrated but at the same time still enjoying the battle um noticing that the guys up in front are battling as well and hopefully that will slow them down and bring that bring them towards us because i think I, at this stage of the race where tires would be going off i've probably got the run on them as well or the or the pace on them as well so um i just really needed to get past at this point in time but it was proving so difficult as per usual a lot of the time in in, in LFM man, guys will fight you tooth and nail and no one gives you a free pass unless they pro unless they like watch your watch your videos or something like that. Sometimes they'll just let you go. Towards the back if you're quite a bit quicker they'll let you go. But once you get into the nitty gritty into the points, um the main point scoring positions, mate, there, there's no freebies mate. Literally there's no freebies. You have to work for for every every position, every overtake. And um it's 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 good fun man and I enjoy being in, in, in the middle of the pack in a car that no one else is driving. I think I was the only Bentley in this race, you know. Um, and it was just fun, man. I, I've, I've always had a soft spot for the Bentley, always, especially around Silverstone, because it used to excel so much. And I just, it's just not the same, man. It just doesn't do what it used to do. But again, Katano has made a mistake through turn one now let's see if we can get the run on him but he he missed turn one but he didn't actually lose a massive amount which is crazy to me and again we are literally on the edge of track limits but again the aston was pretty decent this time i think we were a little bit better managed to get up the corner a bit better but we just we don't close up in slipstream really and um it's just proven hard but i could tell that his tires were beginning to struggle a little bit because he was sliding it into turn one so i knew the more he does that the more he damages his tires his lap times will start falling off and then maybe maybe there might be a chance for us but honestly sometimes in racing what you do is you look past the person that you're racing against well that's what i was doing i wasn't even thinking about this guy in front i was thinking can i catch the guys in front of the guy in front just automatically in my mind program, programming myself to say to myself I know I'm getting past this guy and have I got enough time to catch the guys in front that's actually what I was thinking I wasn't I was completely thinking this guy's gonna make a mistake I'm gonna get him at some stage but to be fair to him he wasn't really making massive mistakes and I just did not have the car to really get underneath him I was trying pretty much everything but the Bentley on the exit of especially the tight corners is just like it's the torque is just insane the back end just wants to snap and step out everywhere and it's very 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 hard to um you know just get your foot down early like you can see in the Aston they can get their foot down early the guy absolutely explodes out of the corner and I just can't live with it man I cannot live with it it's the, the throw application is nowhere near as smooth and um yeah it was definitely hard work definitely hard work but again we've had a decent turn one he actually hit the apex at turn one this time um i had to be perfect through maggots and beckets to, to stay with him whereas i don't think he had to be perfect you know um I slide the car a little bit here but i managed to really get the nose into the corner he doesn't look he goes over the grass and now we've got to run on him and let's see what we're able to do i knew when i pulled out of the slipstream i was probably not going to be able to overtake him but i tried to keep him to the right at the second but he starts pushing me he starts nudging me over towards the yeah, um, right. the left hand side of the track i tried to switch back but again the aston has good pickup from the middle of the corner and it was just you know i could have thrown a dive bomb i was thinking about it but you know sometimes you just gotta um you just gotta race a bit clean mate i knew if i threw a dive bomb i'm probably gonna well overshoot the corner and completely push him off track but now i could definitely i could definitely sense the fact that my tires were 
a lot better than a lot of the cars around him because even the guys in front their pace is completely and utterly falling because if you look at our lap times we're falling quite a bit as well but we're still catching the guys in front comfortably i i, I would have liked to have a, just a just a little bit of free air just to see how fast i could actually go i would i would have loved it but it just wasn't happening at the moment and um just had to grind it out man absolutely grind it out but he keeps on sort of taking these wide lines and i was thinking should i try and put my nose in one of these places so so he can't cut back to the apex and just see what happens but again that's a very dangerous tactic because you can get someone who just completely and utterly just closes the door and then they take it to the elephant stewards and it ends up being your fault because you're the car behind so it's one of those ones man it had to be calculated it had to be at the right time um we were turning in maybe slightly a bit early for for uh cops but um we seem to be able to ride the inside curb and the little orange sausage curbs we seem to be able to ride them without much problems so it was pretty comfortable for us and definitely gonna put this setup out man i felt like it was decent for those people that do like the bentley but it's just it's not the car that it once was it definitely is not the car um I wish it was man i i wish the bentley was back to how it was at its best uh, maybe not at its best because at its best it was very very op but you know that i just feel like it's changed it feels very heavy you know it feels like you're driving a heavy car and um it never used to feel like that it used to be just just so nice and the grip mid mid corner grip oh it was amazing but um Unfortunately, you know, with with uh, the Bentley no longer being in 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 um, Blanc Pain anymore, it's kind of like ah, it's probably going to lose support. They're probably not going to really bother to add anything to it. So we might be seeing we might be seeing the end of the Bentley guys in terms of competitive races, unless it's an extremely extremely hot race at a, at a good track for a BOP. But um, we need to start focusing on getting past this guy now. We've got three minutes left. Now I know the gig's kind of up. There's no way I'm going to catch the guys in front of this guy if I can't even get past this guy. Even though they are falling back towards us, it was like three, just over three minutes to go, which is maybe maybe two laps. And I doubt I'm making up that sort of time in two laps. But we were still lapping quicker, which was the frustrating part because I knew I could go even quicker than what I'm going now if I had if I had free free air but literally I just can't I can't it's not even that I just can't get past him I can't actually get really close to him it was difficult just to get close and stay close and yeah it just <laughs> it's so jarring when you know you've probably got the speed on someone and they're just in a car that's probably a little bit better than your own and you can't do nothing it's so annoying literally so annoying but um, people getting drive-throughs, I didn't get a warning yet, but I was prepared. Listen, I was prepared to get a warning to set this guy up um, on the last lap. Trust me, I will go wide. I'll do what I need to do um, to get a good run through Magus and Beckett as he overshoots the corner a little bit. And that was giving us a bit of confidence, man, because clearly him, the guys in front, their tires are starting to go. Look how they're losing time now. And for me, I was thinking, surely I'm going to get an opportunity. Try to turn in earlier there. We're able to stay right to the back of his car. We get a little bit of understeer there. And that's what sort of killed our chances for this corner. Because I do believe I was later on the brakes as well. Um, but obviously, it's just just not that easy. Just not that easy. But um, a minute and 35 to go. That's one lap to go. And Jesus, man, the race is close. I should have started flashing my lights and doing all sorts of stuff just to put him off, you know, see see how scared he gets with the, with the big boy Bentley just right behind you, man. And again, look, the guys in front, only 2.8 seconds now. If we were just able, just able to keep them behind us, then, you know, would have had a much better result. But at the start, we lost places and just ends up being tough, man. But last lap, can I get close? He doesn't have a great turn one. You see him sliding into turn one. 
as I said, I was prepared to get a, a track cut, man. Literally. <laughs> I knew I, I knew I had three, so I was prepared to get one just to get close. Um, and people don't know that, but a lot of people actually use that tactic, man. Like if you're if you're at Spa last lap of the race, you've got no corner cuts, you're trying to overtake someone. On the last lap, you end up you will cut a little bit more of El Rouge than you than you need to. You might get the one warning, but it may allow you to get down the slipstream quicker. It may allow you to get in to uh, overtaking position as we go for the inside we send it the car actually snaps on us and we manage to save it somehow he doesn't run into the back of us and we lose the position still we gained it for a split second but then we lose it again and wow bro i was not expecting the car to do that he left the door open and you know i didn't feel like i broke mad mad late but clearly i did because the car absolutely snapped as soon as I hit the brake, wow. And I think I got a little bit on the grass as well. I turned the car right, it literally just snapped and I kind of had to just turn it into the slide a little bit and we managed to survive it. Our tires are definitely over pressured now, but you could see that how much speed we had because even though that happened, we still ended up catching him before the end of the lap again, which is pretty insane, but, ah, oh, mate couldn't believe it could not believe it i saw the door he left the door open and i thought ah this is pretty easy he hasn't even closed the door i did not even think that i broke seriously late but obviously i did and it messed up and there's nothing much i could do about it apart from tell this guy home um but what a good race what a good battle literally battling since like lap three lap four and uh didn't manage to make any headway and uh yeah i think we come home in eighth position it was a decent race but you know um definitely could have been better definitely would have liked to have been in some free air so i could uh, attack and see what i could do with the guys in front but anyway guys hope you did enjoy the video it's cryptic tmg like and subscribe also for setups make sure you go on setbase.com and go and check me out if you want any setups, any setup requests, just leave a comment in the comment section and I will get back to you. Anyway, guys, appreciate it, man. Peace.